Welcome back, my name is Mosh, and I like to build spaceships. Uh, first off, I just want to say, wow, uh, didn't expect this one to do so well. Uh, got a lot of love from y'all. Went from 30-something subscribers to 330-something pretty much overnight, so super stoked on that. Excited to bring y'all some new builds. Uh, stick around till the end of the video, got a little something special. Uh, make sure you drop in the comments what you guys want to see next. And let's get to it. Alright, so y'all seem to enjoy this one. Uh, this was a fun build for me. Uh, appreciate all the love that this got uh, on Facebook, on Reddit. Uh, stoked to bring this to you guys. So let's get started. Uh, if you've seen the rest of my videos, you know about our little red friend. We're actually not going to use him today because we're going to be using a couple different glitching techniques that don't involve him. But he ain't going anywhere. We have a special place for him, so we're going to set him aside for now. We'll come back. So this one is going to be largely Tayo uh, with, you know, Stroud, a couple Dymos for the, the wings and fin. Per usual uh, it's gonna use the same cockpit as the Harrier if you guys saw that one uh, this is a C-class ship the inside of this is a nightmare everything is crammed into a very small frame uh, so let's get to it so we're gonna start with our Dimos landing bay we're gonna attach it to a two-in-one uh, the Tayo bottom piece this is the smooth one without anything on the sides like so then we're gonna bring in our tayo bottom B which is the one with the doorways on the side we're gonna just attach that to the front there all right so next we are going to bring in a top a again this is the smooth one we're just gonna set him there for now and we're gonna bring a companion way B and this one has the doors and we're going to put this right above the landing bay. So now we have this gap here and this is where we are going to cram our grav drive and our reactor. Okay, so we're actually going to take this piece off for just a second. We're going to throw our reactor where it needs to be here. And then we'll bring this back. And what we'll do, as you see it'll lock in here, we're going to switch the variant. Just press over on, uh, on one of the D keys, one of the arrow keys. And then go back to it. And then we're just going to press tab. And it'll just drop it right there. So much easier. Amazing. Okay. So that's one kind of glitch we're going to use. We're still going to use the duplication glitch as well. So we'll bring up our grab drive. We'll put him here. And we'll just duplicate and drop him in there. So kind of like the little red f friend glitch, but kind of just duplicates on himself. Okay, so now that we have that crammed in there, um, this is going to be kind of our main main hub of activity. But we can go ahead and build some of these other sections just to get them out of the way here. So, for the tail, we're going to start with a Nova engine strut. And we're going to attach that to the Hope Tech uh, hob spine. This is the hallway. We're just going to bring that right there. On either side of it, we're going to put the Stroud engine bracers. Bam, bam. Then on either side of that, again, Hope Tech Hob Spine Hallways. One and two, just like that. And then to make the fins, we're going to do a Dymo Skeg A on the bottom of each one. One, two. And then for the top, we're going to do a Spine F capped off with a Spine E on both sides. So F, E. F, E, like so. And then we can double click and bring this whole tail piece and just attach the strut right to the back of the landing bay. Like so. 
then what we can do is bring our Stroud Cap C. This will be the, the aft. Pop it on top. Control G, duplicate. Drop it down. Bye bye. And that's our tail. And for the engines, we're going to be using the Supernova 2100s. So we'll go ahead and attach this to the little doorway here on the companionway. Like so. We can go ahead and do that on both sides. One, two. And so I've seen a lot of people kind of do this. I've seen a lot of Razor Crest builds like this. I didn't really like this because it's not as rounded. So I found out if you take this, this is the Tayo braking engine, the one with the hole in the front. Take it like so, duplicate it in place, flip it, drop it down. Amazing. And that looks much more symmetrical. All right, so we'll bring over this one again. Like I said, put it on, duplicate it in place, flip it, drop it down. Bada bing, beautiful. And so for the top here, we're gonna use the Tayo all-in-one. This is the A, again, the smooth one with no doors. Just go ahead and pop it on top. Duplicate it once, duplicate it again, and it'll pop in there and get rid of these two. Now that's kind of covered up. Okay, so now we're going to bring over our companionway fuselage A from Hope Tech. Again, this is going to be the same cockpit as the Harrier. We'll bring him over and attach him like so. Uh, underneath him. We're going to do the Dymos 320 CB landing gear, and this is going to be hidden away. We're going to tuck it away in here. So we'll attach it to the bottom. Again, it'll leave us a little free access point hidden back here. And so next, so we can get this in here. Again, to get this in, we're going to put it in place. We're going to switch the variant with the arrow keys. Then we're going to switch it right back so we get the right one. Tab, and it'll just drop right in place. And so same thing, we're going to take our per usual Dymo Slim Docker. It's not going to want to go on the bottom, so we're going to put it there. Press Z to flip it, flip it back. Tab, it's going to drop it right in there. Beautiful. So now we have a companionway, docker, and landing gear kind of all, all stacked together here in this little bit. So now we can bring over our cockpit. This is the Commander 500. You can use any of the Hope Tech cockpits. Then we'll bring over our bottom Nova cowling. It's going to sit right there. Then we'll bring over our top Nova cowling. It's not going to want to go in, so we're going to do the flip again. Z to flip it, flip it back, tab. It's so much easier. That's just amazing. Okay, so now we're going to take off the bottom one. And this is where we're going to bring in our gun. So our gun consists of the Nova weapon mount. I'm using the Class C Auto Goss guns. I got two of them just mounted in the inside. Got to go ballistic on this thing in the front. So we're just going to mount that underneath. Connect it here. So now we can't use this connection point, but we have one here. So we'll bring this cowling back. Again, Z to flip it. Flip it again tab it right into place okay last little bits of detail here we're gonna take our top we're gonna take our fuel tanks I'm using the 400 G we're gonna slap these on the back of the fuselage here and our shield again you can use any shield I'm just gonna pop this down right here like so 
So again, we're going to bring our top back, use the variant one, left or right on the uh, D keys. So it's a top A. Now this is switch to an armory, switch it back to an all-in-one, tab, and bam, covered up. So the wings on this are fairly easy. We're going to take a Dymos Bracer A, put it on the front doorway here. Then we'll take Hope 6 landing gear. This is the 4 one, uh, obviously, port side. We're going to pop it right on the bracer. So next, we'll take our Stroud Nose Cap 2B. This is the double wide one flipped upside down. We're going to pop it right here. Z to flip. Flip it again so it's still upside down. Tab it into place. Next, we have the Stroud Nose Cap B. This is the single one. We're going to slap our missiles under here. Again, I'm using just Class C missiles. We'll slap it right on the front. We'll bring this over. Bam. And we'll cap off the wings with a Stroud Cap A. Upside down, all of these. And that's our wing. That's a pretty simple wing comparatively to the Harrier, if you guys saw that. So again, Dymos Bracer A on the front doorway. Followed by the Hope Tex Hope 6 landing gear. Then we're going to bring in our double wide nose cap. Flip, flip, tab. Connect our missiles to the front of our single nose cap. Bring this over. Cap it off with the nose cap A. And there you have it. That is the A-10 Thunderbolt 2 Warthog. Now, if some of you remember, this step is optional, but I did say we have a special place for our little red friend because I'm not going to forget about him. So this is... Don't have to do this. I'm doing this just to honor our little guy. So I'm going to bring him under here. I'm going to remove the bottom piece underneath here. And I'm just going to tuck him. I'm just going to tuck him right here. The heart of our heart of our bird here. Then I'm going to bring this back. Variant trick it. Swap the variants. Tab it right into place. Now our little red friend's going to come bird with us. And so there you have it, guys. Uh, stick around. Last part of this video. Uh, I'm going to do a little showcase of people that have used the tutorial my past tutorials and made their own builds uh, if you guys want to submit your builds you can find me look at smosh on pretty much any platform tag me in them send them to me i'll feature them in the next video have a good one guys okay so i wanted to start doing some showcases because i've seen a couple people use my tutorials and come up with their own builds uh, and i kind of want to show those off so if you guys want to submit, like I said, look at Smosh on pretty much any platform. Tag me, send them to me, get featured in the next video. Alright, so let's check these out. So first up we have this one from Facebook user Brendan P. Uh, this is just a redesign of the Harrier. I like the colors on this one. Added a couple more weapons. I believe he added some cargo and also some extra landing gear to support all that weight. This one's pretty cool, man. Next, we have a little bit of a redesign from Reddit user Arpexio. This one is made to look more like an A4 Skyhawk. Love this build. Uh, check this guy out. If you like my builds, you'll love his builds. And last but not least, we have this beautiful build by Twitter user Majorn26. This thing is beautiful. Love the colors on this. Love the twin tail fins. Good job, buddy.